Well, we don't see cicadas every year, but when we do, you know, they're loud and they're never alone. And this year, trillions of them expected in several states. So, Janae Reese is on your corner with what you need to know before they emerge again. Peter is the general manager of Greenfield's nursery in Baltimore. But when the time comes, make sure you have all your supplies together. So he knows a few things about and plants, sure trees, and the cicadas that room. love them too. As they're laying their eggs in their life cycle, they'll damage the um, stem of a tree, and that will cause that stem to eventually die and what we call flag. Professor Michael Raup is known as the bug guy and works at the University of Maryland. He says this year we got lucky. No racket in B more, no racket in DC, maybe some racket in Alexandria and Stafford and then swinging down through the deep south. He says in 2024 two broods or cycles will emerge across the south and midwest. Brood 19 is on a 13 year cycle, and brood 13 is on a 17 year cycle. The two broods haven't matched up since 1803, according to university research. You can go out and look for dime sized holes, stick your pinky in them, underneath oak trees, hardwood trees, maple trees. If you see these holes underneath those trees, it's a very good sign you're going to have periodical cicadas. However, Ralph says if you have a small tree, there's a chance they can cause some trouble if they emerge. They can cause some damage on those trees where they lay their eggs and the branches will eventually die and we call flag. So on young trees, we're urging that people protect those trees with netting that covers those trees. Lesson number one is get your netting unwrapped. Uh, make sure it's appropriate to cover your tree. A net can protect and prevent cicadas from harming your young trees. We're not urging people to spray the cicadas. We've done scientific research that demonstrate that spraying will not protect your trees. The way you protect your trees is to net these trees and keep those cicadas off the trees from laying eggs. You can use a zip tie to keep it all in place. Pretty much as simple as that. Experts say cicadas will not hurt you or your pets and can be helpful in some environments. It happens a few times in a lifetime, so just go out and enjoy. But Baltimore, don't worry. They're not showing up on Pratt Street. Reporting in Baltimore, I'm Janae Reese for WJZ.